what's up everybody back here on uh, bear rock log in the day I was just doing a little testing on the skitter because I got a new game controller uh, I purchased a Xbox one style controller uh, I did not go for the wired or excuse me wireless one I went for the wired one which is fine because the way I'm set up it's, it's it, you know it doesn't cause me any issues so plus I don't have to worry about batteries and that sort of thing but uh, so anyway, I just testing it. I was gonna take a little getting used to because it's a little different. The, the joysticks are in a little different spot than my Logitech F310 I had. Uh, it was just getting to the point to where, whenever I'd hit the bumpers and try to do anything, it, it wasn't, you know, it, it was hit or miss on whether or not it actually did what it's supposed to. So I went ahead and purchased this. Uh, it's about, I don't know, about forty-six dollars, something like that, on Amazon. So it wasn't too bad. A little more than what I paid for the Logitech, but this one should last a lot longer. It's a little better quality, I think. But anyway, we're going to get some logs skidded up down here and uh, get busy doing some processing because I think we got quite a few logs on the ground that needs to be loaded up, and uh, quite a few more I've got skidded up that needs to be processed. So we got a lot to do today. And uh, the other big news, sort of, I guess, about the game is uh, I don't, I can't really tell much of a difference, but. I did, um, you can see my, my frame rates there is pegged out at 60. Uh, I did make a few little graphics changes, just playing around with some of the settings and trying to get, uh, you know, uh, a good, uh, a good balance between playability and, uh, a good frame rate too. Get that out of the way for a minute. Because on my maps, anyway, uh, I put a lot of trees in here. I mean, a lot. There's uh, 30, I think it's 38,000 trees on this bare rock logging map. And on the plantation, which I'm uh, made you know, pretty good progress on here lately, uh, is I think there's right around 30,000 trees. So, oops. So I don't play around when it comes to trees on the map. Uh, I think it looks a lot better to have a ton of trees on the map. And if you have to adjust your graphic settings or something like that, well, it's not really a huge deal. So um, I just like having the, the, the extra trees and stuff on the map. It may hurt somebody's computer or whatever, but... Like I said, if you just adjust your graphic settings just a little, I mean, I made just minor changes. I mean, it wasn't like it anything drastic, and uh, it made a huge difference in the uh, in the frame rate. In fact, I need to get some of this stuff. Of course, it's not hurting us. I mean, when we move over here where the trees are, we're getting around the 40s, but if you just look at where the log pile is right over here, you'll see whenever I pan back over this way. See right now we're at 60. I mean it's not a big deal. Uh, what I did was, if, let's see if I can remember, um, I think I've got uh, my resolution at like 150 percent just to help out a little bit. Um, I do have the multi-sampling anti-aliasing turned off because it is an issue with this map. I haven't tested it. Uh, in fact I haven't even got the 1.3 patch uh, even on my test machine yet, which I will do shortly to test everything out to see how that's going to work with uh, not only bare rock but uh, the plantation coming up. I want to make sure that the 1.3 has no issues with the map, so I'll be testing that out and then probably go ahead and, if everything looks okay, probably go ahead and put it here on this my playing computer. But uh, let's see, what else did I do? Uh, oh, the, the foliage draw distance, I think I play with that a little bit. It was up pretty high, I don't know what it was. But I'm, probably what I need to do is just look at my settings and show everybody in case you're interested. But what I'd recommend, if you're having some issues with frame rates, like especially on these high tree count maps like Bear Rock and uh, I think Grizzly Mountain's probably pretty well optimized. Uh, they do a pretty good job of, uh, of that. So I don't think there will be any issue there. But if you experience any issues here on my maps, uh, Bear Rock and the soon-to-be-released uh, Plantation for 19, uh, just play around with your, your display settings a little bit. 
Uh, if you've got, like, say, the shadows up real high, maybe bounce them back a little. And if you've got the uh, foliage draw distance, maybe up around 200% or something, maybe bump it back to 150. You can just play around a little bit. You'll probably find that it helps out the frame rate a lot. In fact, uh, the other night when I was first... Uh, I, I had brought uh, the plantation in-game for the first time in quite a while and uh, I was noticing that even after I went and changed all the clip distances on the uh, barbed wire fences that I was still getting right around 30 frames and I was like well it must be something to do with uh, the graphic settings so like I said I, I played around with it just a little bit uh, just made a few little changes here there and when I came back in game I was pegged out at 60 the whole time so yeah, just uh, play around with those settings a little bit, and you may find something that works for you. I mean, I know everybody would like to have just the this ultra high graphic settings and stuff, but uh, I tend to lean more towards the playability than the ultra graphics. I mean, if it if the game runs smooth and plays smooth, I don't really care if if it looks a little on the rough side. I mean, to me right now. I think the game is okay. It could look a lot better, but I just don't have the computing power. I've got a i5 processor. You know, I don't have any kind of supercomputer, so I wish I had a a real high. You know, uh oh, that was that one should have been should have went over here probably. I wish I had a, a nice gaming computer set up. You know, with like maybe a i7 at least or i9 would be awesome, but. I just can't afford all that right now, so maybe one of these days. Maybe one day. But anyway, like I said, just play around with your graphic settings if you're having some frame rate issues and uh just, just make small adjustments. Don't make anything huge. And then if you, you know, you might even take screenshots or write down, you know, what you did. So that way, if you need to go back, you can have a reference. Yeah, we're getting getting some low hits here, but there's a lot going around here on the the landing. We, we're getting quite a few trees piled up here. I need to I actually need to load up a truck. And I need to chip up all this stuff over here. We're getting quite a few. So I'll tell you what, just as a little test, let's try this. Let's uh let's hop in our wood chipper. I made this little area here for the wood chipper just to get it out of the way of everything. I plot up a little little spot for the tractor to maneuver around in but oh I see I, oh yeah I was gonna um, load all that up onto a truck so let's just uh, get all these little pieces right over here first let's see if that does anything to the frame rate Probably not to make much, not enough to make much difference. Yeah, I'm already liking this uh, new game controller. This Xbox style controller is nice. Feels good, nice and smooth, and hopefully it'll last a good while. Let's see, where is our log truck? Oh, that's right. I left it sitting there because we were... I had filled it up from... Uh, I think I was playing a little bit off camera and had filled it up and... Thought I would pick up there and go sell it. So let's uh, take this down the mountain and go sell it real quick.
Yeah, so we're coming up on the end of the month, and I thought that I was going to, uh, you know, have the plantation ready to go by the end of the month, and it's looking more like it's going to take uh, maybe a couple, couple more weeks. Uh, I just don't have enough time, you know, with work and everything I'm doing outside of work and stuff like that. I just don't have time to uh, devote a lot of hours, you know, at a at a given time. I mean, I, what I usually do is I'll work on it an hour here or there, and then just, you know, as I get time to put a little work into it, and then come back a little bit later and put a little bit more work into it. So I wish I had all the time in the world just to sit around making maps, but I don't. <laughs> There's that thing called work, you know, you gotta, oops, you gotta make some money to pay the bills. But it'll be coming along here shortly, I mean, I, like I said, I, I think, I, right now what I'm down to is basically kind of into the testing phase and adding some small details around the map uh, little small trees and tidying up some fences and you know stuff like that just little small things uh, if you remember from the plantation there was a little area where you could take some, the pallets of lumber to a different spot and sell them that little uh, lumber sale point over there on the let's see I guess if you're looking at the map from north to south it'd be the over on the east side over there was that little factory kind of thing I'm working on getting some detail put in there you know like uh, uh, trash bins and stuff like that so uh, it's just down to that and then you know the the testing to make sure everything is working correctly the wood chip cell point the log cell point vehicle cell point and whoops I don't want to cut that too sharp now I've got myself hung up in there great try not to jackknife it because if you jackknife it too bad it'll uh, it'll flip the trailer over there we go. I need to come cut those trees. I keep talking about doing that and never never get around to it. But uh, yeah, once the testing's done on the plantation, then of course it's you know making the PDA map and uh, basically the intro splash screen, just a lot of little stuff. The PDA is not too terribly difficult, but it's something that spent, takes a lot of time. I'll have to spend a good bit of time on that. Make sure I got it right. And. Uh, then of course it's all the packaging up and uploading and that you know it doesn't take much time but we're getting there we're definitely getting there I'm, I'm thinking it's probably going to be in the first week or two of april if not sooner I'm, I'm shooting for sooner but just like i said so i wish i had more time to work on that kind of stuff i, I record these episodes during my lunch break and uh sometimes at night but mostly during my lunch breaks and then uh, when I work on the maps it's mostly at night and of course now with uh, spring here coming about uh, I've already had to mow the yard the once uh, once so you know all that stuff will be starting back up again mowing the yards and that sort of thing I'm trying to get as much done as I can before I have to do all that full time. Well, not full time, but you know I me. Mean. My weekends will be full of mowing yard. <laughs> it takes me about two hours to mow the yard here. See, look at this. I mean, we're, we're, we're basically pegged out at 60. I mean, it's fluctuating just a little bit between 60 and 58, 59, somewhere right in there. But basically right at 60 frames. And, and really all I did was make a few little minor things. I, I'm sure I'm happy I did that because uh, it sure makes the game play a little bit better. 
it's so weird because even though you were sometimes at 60, whenever it would fluctuate down to like between 40 and 50, somewhere in there, the game would really stutter a lot. I don't know what's up with that. I wish those mirrors worked, but I mean, I hardly ever use the mirrors anyway, because a lot of times when the modders make these semi trucks with the mirrors, all you can really see is the exhaust pipes or, you know, it's nothing useful. I think one of the trucks I played with before, I don't know if it was uh, Farming Simulator 17 or 19, but one of the trucks, when you looked in the mirror on the right hand, on the passenger side over there, all you could see was the seat <laughs> over here, so they didn't adjust it right, but. Be nice to have some some working mirrors. That's about the only thing with this mod that I don't like. It's it's a nice truck. I like this old Kimworth. It's not quite enough room there to turn around. I cleaned up some of that. There was a bunch of trees and stuff there, and there was uh, some up here in the road. Even I got all that cleaned out. I cut a few more trees too. Let's see. I need to come and cut a few more because if I cut those trees, I could swing out a little better. But what I've been doing is just kind of swinging up this way, way up here into the woods, and then just backing up. But yeah, I definitely need to come cut a few more trees. good there get past that tree there we go yep I need to open this up a good bit more there's just not enough room to swing this big old trailer around Picked up way too many trees that or logs that time, but it uh, it made it work. <laughs> Just barely. I won't get quite as many this time.
Yep, it's got a bit too many trees piled up here. Once we get some of these out of the way, it should help out quite a bit. Come on. Oh, and once again, I forgot to put some of those tops in there. That's all right. What's going on here? Maybe I can grab some now and stick in there. Because instead of chipping these things up, I was going to throw just throw some onto the uh, back end. But I was going to put them in first because I see that a lot around here where they'll take the like for that uh, chip and saw stuff or whatever they'll take a bunch of those little tops and they'll put them on the bottom of the back and then they'll stack the bigger tree bigger logs on on top It's kind of messy. And we got one hanging off the edge over there. Oops. Is it just about. Oh, I think it fell off. <laughs> yep, it did. All right. Well, let's take one or two more on the top there. We got just a little bit of room left.
Alright, we got us a dang near full load, so let's see what this thing will do. I gotta be real careful on this road right here, because it's awfully bumpy. Which I did on purpose. And this, uh, this trailer with this much load on it is going to be awfully top heavy, so I've got to be careful. Especially on the, the curves like this, where it's kind of at a, you see, kind of rocking. Right in through this section is pretty rough, too. Just going to go slow. Should get about sixty thousand for this load, though. Maybe, maybe more. I think about sixty would be probably about right. Fifty-eight, something like that. We got fifty-four something last time. We got a bit more wood on here, plus those tops on the back, so that should get us up near sixty. Uh, so all these uh, FDR equipments that are, you're seeing on here, are, these are not the latest ones. These are not the version 4s. These are still the version... Well, some of them are thinking version 2. Some maybe that version 3 that has the dirt. I think it was version 3 that had the dirt on them. Alright, so I'm going to try something a little bit different this time. Let's pull up that way and then we'll back up. This may not work out. Like I said, I'm just trying to avoid the jackknife. I knew that this turn was going to be really sharp, and you know, I was trying to, when I was making the map, trying to uh, put a few little obstacles in here where it's just not terribly easy. And that was one of them. I knew that that turn was going to be tight. That little spot right there is pretty pretty tight too. And of course, you got these uh, sort of high bank turns, which are a challenge. Just gotta go slow and be careful. And uh, while I'm thinking about it, I would like to invite everyone to check out my Patreon page and help support the channel. Uh, not only are you uh, just providing, or, well, you'll be getting uh, insider access to the, uh, what am I trying to do here? Turn the lights on. By becoming a Patreon, what you'll do is you'll get insider access to the uh, maps that I'm making. You'll know what the maps can be called. Um, when it's going to be released and all that stuff before anybody else. And you'll see some screenshots and maybe some videos. I don't think I've done a video yet, but uh, I might do that for the plantation before it's released. But uh, main thing, though, is you'll be helping support the channel because, you know, it does take a little bit to do this. I mean, I've, you know, there's things that go into it. Um, the, uh, you know, computer itself, I've had to replace a hard drive and, 
Uh, joystick broke on me, so I had to replace one of those, and just got this new uh, controller to replace the one, the older one that wasn't working correctly, uh, and that's thanks to the Patreons. Uh, also, due to the, my Patreons, I was able to uh, get Windows 10 to put on an older computer I have uh, that I had just sitting around that didn't have uh, any operating system on it. I had an extra hard drive laying around, so I just got a copy of Windows 10. And that's my test computer, so I'll take the plantation over there. And it's a little bit weaker computer, too, so I'll be able to see kind of a wide range of, okay, my gaming computer, I know what specs are, and my other computer um, has a different kind of processor and lower quality graphics card and uh, that sort of thing, you know, so I'll be able to test good with that. But... Um, do, do go check out the Patreon page and see if that's something you're interested in for five bucks a month. I sure would appreciate it and it would help me out a lot. And there's also other ways you can help too by hitting the subscribe button. You notice down there we're at 759 subscribers at the moment and uh, trying to get to a thousand to get my videos monetized again. Once we do that I'll be doing some random giveaways you know, copies of the game, uh, dual joysticks, just any any kind of thing like that that I think of for just on a whim. It won't be anything regular like once a month or anything. It'll be more random. It could be, you know, once every two months or once uh, every four months or just however it works out. I, I got to get some money in first. And uh, YouTube doesn't pay you until you get to a hundred dollars. So once I get my videos monetized, it'll be a little bit before I actually, uh, you know, be able to do anything. But gotta get there first, and we're just about there. I mean, I'm excited here. Lately, we've been I've been picking up subscribers left and right. Um, there's been uh, I think I think I saw in the past. 28 days something like almost 70 new subscribers so I really really appreciate that and that's kind of surprising I'm not sure where all you folks coming from but I sure do appreciate it, each and every one of you and, uh, we'll, we'll be at a thousand before you know it and looking forward to that doing some giveaways and possibly even upgrading some equipment or something who knows but most of us have been going back to you guys uh, doing monthly give or random giveaways and things like that. Uh, bring this fellow buncher over there and try to get some of that cleared out. <laughs> get that one cleared out and this one over here get it cleared out and then I'll open it up a good bit on the right side then we'll come over there between the road and uh, the wood chipping operation Oops. try to get it cleared out Now this fellow buncher right here by FDR does have the, it's sort of a stump grinder too, so you can see right there in front of us there's a, a little stump and all you gotta do is uh, basically touch it and it goes away. So that's kind of cool, you know, kind of, I don't know, kind of cheating a little bit, but I mean, I guess you don't have to use it, you can use a regular stump grinder or something. That is uh, kind of a neat option there to have.
And everybody keeps asking me about this uh, little, uh, down here by the speedometer, this little track machine looking thing that's got the direction that shows which way you're pointing. That's just a mod I downloaded from, uh, I think I got it on Farming Simulator 19.com. I mean, you could probably find it on just about any of them. I had it in 17 and used it. Uh, it worked on most of the machines that I used, but uh, not all of them. But it sure is handy to have because if you got your cab swung around a different direction or something, you, you don't know, you know, which way it's facing. You can just look down there and see. It's pretty cool. But it's nothing special. I just downloaded it from one of the mod sites. And uh, I think in the in well in in uh, Farming Simulator 17 there for a while I was trying to keep track of all the mods I was using in a spreadsheet so y'all could see where I got them from and downloaded and all that stuff. But I'm not going to do that uh, this time on 19 because it's just too much work for me to keep up with all that. And a lot of those links will you know change or a lot well not a lot but some some of the stuff I get on. Uh, uh, Facebook. I'm, I'm a, a member of several uh, Farming Simulator or modder type groups, you know, like Farming Simulator Loggers is one of them, and there's several others, but they'll put stuff up, and I'll go, oh, well, that's cool, and I'll download it, and then, you know, a month later, the link's gone or something, and just don't have time to keep up with all that, so... If you play uh, Farming Simulator on PC, I would just recommend, like I said, go on uh, if you Facebook, or I mean, if you don't, I mean, it wouldn't hurt you, I guess, just to put some kind of profile up there and go follow all these groups and stuff. That's a good way to not only find mods, but keep up with stuff that's in development. Um, let's see, let's get this last tree right over here. Oh, there's a stump. I guess I could just take the brooks right there and chip that up or grind it up, but we were there with the fellow buncher, so why not? <laughs> Let's grab this one tree right here. Of course, it's going to not cooperate. I'll just throw it right over there. Come get it with the skitter later. Tell you what, one one more tree. Let's get this one right here. This kind of in the way too. We'll throw it over here next to this one. All right. That opens that up pretty good. You know, all this tall grass and bushes and stuff reminds me of uh, when I was a forester for a little while. Uh, I do have a degree in forestry, and there for a little while, about six months, I was a forester for a company, a little small company, here in Louisiana. And uh, it reminds me of uh, those, when I see those trees, you know, get lost in the grass and bushes and stuff. You know, one of the things before we finished up a job site was me and the other forester would walk the the job and just to make sure that the skitter operators didn't leave any trees laying around and sometimes you know we'd find them doing some weird stuff like trying to hide an extra pile because what happens is um, you know when, when you're tired of a job ready to move somewhere else and you're just about you know to the point where I'm just you know ready to go they don't want to go pick up those few little trees out there in the woods because that means they have to make a special load and they won't get much money for it, whatever. But I mean, they could throw it on the truck and haul it to the next job site, but they're just lazy, I guess. And so we would always go around and check behind and just make sure that uh, they weren't leaving anything behind because that's 
money on the ground. But like I said, I wasn't a forester for very long, just like maybe six months, and decided that wasn't what I wanted to do. I, I was probably just in the wrong situation, wrong, uh, not wrong field, but I mean, if, I, if I'd have worked for maybe somebody different, it would have been, or doing something different, you know, it would have been a different experience, but I decided to go back to school and get a degree in uh, geographic information systems, so that's what I did. I had gotten a minor when I was in college the first time around and decided to go back and get my full degree in that. And I worked in that for quite a while. So now I can do what I was wanting to do before. And so this is what I see around a lot of where I live is uh, they'll put these little tops on the back of the trailer. And then they'll put the bigger logs on top of that. So let's try that. These things aren't worth much. I mean, it'd probably be better actually to chip them up and do it like that, but we'll try this for a little bit, and if it doesn't work out, we'll just chip them up. But, I mean, there's no really no harm in putting them on the trailer. Like I said, you might just get a little bit more money for them if you were to sell them as wood chips. bit on there. Oh, and I keep forgetting to mention, uh, don't forget to check out my website. I've got a website now. It's uh, NLAgaming.com. And on there you will find all the releases of the maps I've done so far. So all the Farming Simulator 17 maps are on there, Dodson Logging and the Plantation. And, uh, of course, Bear Rock. Bear Rock's on there. This map is on there, too. But also, you'll find a what I'm planning on doing, and I haven't updated it in a while, but what I'm planning on doing is, uh, at some point, putting up some tutorial stuff. I've got just a little bit up there already. Not a whole lot. But uh, I'm planning on, you know, like, how to make a map, basically, from A to Z kind of thing. Put that up there. And uh, so that'll be coming soon. And like I said, there's already a little bit on there, but I'll be putting I'll be putting more up as I get time to work on it. Oops, that was never seen that before. Completely shot all the logs out. That's weird. I may have put uh, too much on the back end. 
with those little tops but we don't have just a whole lot of trees piled up over here so I'm gonna get what I can then we'll take it on to the mill and come back and I'll put a few less on next time we got going on here oh, everything's falling off the back I was hoping to do a bit more cutting today, but uh, we had quite a few logs piled up here and we need to get them sold. So we'll get three logs, three loads of logs today. How's that? I think that's all I'm going to put on there. That's quite a few. We could probably put one or two more on there, but well, I'll tell you what. Let's, let's let me back up here just a little bit. Let's go ahead and put those these last two or three on here just to get this area cleaned up.
All right, load number three. screenshot of that and we'll get this load delivered and that's probably about all the time we'll have for this video I would like to remind everybody to hit that subscribe button if you've watched the video this far and you haven't hit or not subscribed, I mean, what's gonna what's what's the hold up? I mean, just hit the subscribe button. <laughs> Help me out here. I'm trying to get to a thousand. Get my videos monetized again. And we'll do some random giveaways when I get some money built up. And if you would like to support the channel. Uh, go check out my Patreon page. It's uh, patreon.com slash NLA Gaming. Should be a link in the video description below. And uh, also, if you'd like to do just like a one-time donation of some money, uh, I've got a paypal.me account set up where you can just... Uh, you should be able to click it in the description below as well. It should be down there. And then the, there's a streamlabs.com slash NLA Gaming that you can uh, donate a little money to which I think it goes to the same PayPal thing, but anyway. A little different spot in case you're a user of Streamlabs. Or if that's just easier, whatever. I think with the Streamlabs uh, way of donating, you can use credit cards. And with the PayPal, you know, of course it's just, I think you have to have a PayPal account. Or maybe you can, maybe, I don't know. I, I never looked at it, I just set it up. <laughs> I think you can use maybe a credit card on that one too, but if you have a PayPal account, I think it you can transfer some money or whatever if you got some in the balance. But anyway, sure would appreciate any help that anybody can give. I was uh, trying to get me a new graphics card here about uh, I don't know six months to a year ago, and I set up a uh, goal of just a little bit of money to help out. And uh, one person generously donated uh, some money towards the graphics card and helped me get a new graphics card. I got a uh, NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti. That's what I'm running right now. 1050. It's pretty nice. I like it. Much better than the older card I had. I'm able to run everything on high. Just about everything on high. I think, I think uh, one, I think like maybe the shaders or the shadows or something is on medium, but everything else is on high okay so I was talking last time let's see what we get for this load 57,744 plus probably another five six hundred I'd imagine yeah, 600 so, wow that was uh, let's see 57,700 and that's about another 1300, so it'll be 58, 58, 3, something like that. That's pretty good. It's good to be getting that money built back up again because I was getting down pretty low. Um, and part of it was just the equipment because when I first set up this map and got everything going some of this equipment wasn't out yet and then I upgraded equipment and had to buy some stuff and some stuff I uh, had already re removed from my mods folder so whenever I came back in game I had to repurchase some stuff and just a lot going on but I think for right now we're pretty well lined out I mean we've got a, a loader, a processor, fellow buncher, skidder 
truck and trailer wood chipper I'm satisfied with that for now so we're pretty good for right now we would have to see what uh, new toys FDR is coming out with pretty soon I think he's been discussing like a truck and a low bed um, so some, some things like that so be curious to see what's coming up next with them or somebody else I mean I, I wish some more people would get into the game uh, seems like right now FDR is the only one that's putting out anything for logging there's been a few other little things uh, the Massey Ferguson skitter by Black Sheep Modding came out recently but really it's more for console I think because the grapple doesn't work too good in, on PC well nor on console apparently either <laughs> but you know that's that's nothing they could do about it that was Giants issue there but that's all we can do is whatever Giants can will let us unless you're on PC then we can do whatever there are no restrictions I'm going to get this truck turned around and let's try swinging way out this way this time. I'm trying to find a good path to uh, get this thing turned around and get that tree out of the way. I think this is going to do it, but that tree is just in the way. In fact, i tell you what, let's just let's solve that real quick. in the way and I don't have time for it so it's gonna go bye-bye what before I park that truck right there I think I'm gonna pile up that land get all that grass out of there all right everybody well that's gonna do it for this episode I'm gonna get this uh, whole landing area plowed off and while we got all the trees out of the way except for these tops back here I'll do something with that but Anyway, we'll get that uh, cleared off, and next time we'll pick up right where we left off, try to cut some more trees and skid them and process them and all that good stuff. So uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again on Friday. And uh, you'll have a good rest of the week. See you then. Thanks for watching.